So I'm heading about three hours east of Foynes to the glacial-carved valley of Glendalough. Discovered 1,500 years ago by St. Kevin, a nobleman turned hermit who stumbled upon this place while searching for a little solitude and for God. I think he found both. The Glen of Two Lakes has always inspired a sense of awe. Lucky for me, hey, hey, Kevin Jack, how's it going? is still making miracles in these parts. Uh, Kevin Keenan, that is. An owner at Glendalock Distillery, which was inspired by St. Kevin and is dedicated to preserving Irish heritage by capturing just a little bit of the magic of Ireland in a bottle. Kevin tells me you have four different kinds of gin. We do, yeah. Geraldine Cavanaugh, she's the real muscle here. Everything that goes into Glendalock spirits is handpicked on these grounds by her. We're just about to head out foraging for the ingredients for our autumn gin. We have the base of juniper berries and coriander seeds coriander. and all the usual stuff. But then we pick probably 10 or 15 or more sometimes. Secret. Local stuff, whatever's grown at that time of the year. Yeah, foraging for fresh ingredients is fine, but I got something else on my mind. Can I try your gin is really what I'm saying. If you work hard. You work your hard, yeah. <laughs> Depends how many pounds of frockens you pick today. <laughs> how many pounds of what? Frockens. What's a frockin? Wild bilberries, I suppose, are they? I think you're frockin' full on my leg. <laughs> That's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. No. Frockens. They're fr wild blueberries are frockens. Yeah, yeah. So you have a frockin' pie when you have a blueberry pie? Yep. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, jeez. Well, let's go pick, yeah, let's shall go. we? Okay. Fortunately, you don't have to go too far to find the best wild ingredients. Just take a stroll in Glendalock's own Garden of Eden. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. This is our water source, coming down from Scar Mountain. These natural springs make the base for their gins. Uh, speaking of... Number one rule of foraging is not to go anywhere without a bottle of gin. So we've got some summer botanical gins. This is summer in Ireland in a bottle. There's wild elderflower, wild berries, wild herbs. There's probably 12 or 15 different wild botanicals that express summer in Ireland in that, in that bottle. And Geraldine's not just waxing poetic. Glendalock makes four unique gins with ingredients that reflect the scents and the taste of the four seasons here in the forest. This tastes like what this looks like. Yeah, yeah. The county that we're in, Wicklow, they call it the Garden of Ireland. And this is essentially all the ingredients of the Garden of Ireland in, in the bottle, you know? This is it. Yeah. Give me a hand, exactly. will you, me boy? <laughs> I, yeah. OK, where to from here? That way? We're heading up the woods now, yeah. Up the woods. Frocken hey, picking I, now. We're frock, what? Frocken picking. Frocken picking. Yeah. I still think you're pulling my leg on that a little bit. All right. Oh, yeah, here we go, here we go. Yeah, yeah? No. Right on the road? Oh, here we go. oh there, that's what I'm talking about. The, oh, oh, here we go. Right on the edge, look at that. There's a whole load. Of Get yourself a big handful of them and then eat and then you them. Get the uh, so I eat the whole thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, like, as you said, when you're a child and you just put loads of Gorge. sweets in your mouth. Oh, you don't have to. <laughs> I act like a kid every day of my life. We noticed. I heard what you said. And yeah. just chew them all up. Go mm -hmm. ahead. All right, here we go. <laughs> They're a natural laxative. <laughs> <laughs> Quick tip. All right, here we go. If you ever find yourself foraging for berries in Glendalock, Ireland... They're a natural laxative. Watch out. <laughs> They'll frockin' get you. Oh, they're so strong. Yep. Oh, my God. Just a bite of them. Huh? Wow. Kevin and Geraldine from the Glendalock Distillery tell me frockin' berries have tons of antioxidants, are said to slow down the aging process, prevent Alzheimer's and cancer, not to mention are a key ingredient and their autumn gin. Do you make a nice pie out of those? I didn't have time to make a pie for you today, I'm sorry. The girl exactly. makes a pie for the boy she likes the best, so if I made a pie for you, my husband might be a bit... That's a rumor oh, start, That's Jack. true, yeah. I don't want your husband to kill me over a pie. <laughs> it was just a pie! All right, enough of that. They tell me there's a fresh batch of their autumn gin. We just gotta follow the green Gaelic road. Frackens, Heather, and... Nettles. Nettles. Oh, my. <laughs> Get in it. Frackens and nettles and nettles. Oh, my. I don't know how to do that. But we're off to see the Wizard of Gin. We've got it on a little secret bar in the woods, but we've got to cross some water. Well, how do we get over there? The good ship Glendalock. Hey, remember our buddy Kevin? Uh, no, the other one. Here we go. The saint who lived here in 500 AD. He's said to have lived in a cave just above this lake. He came here seeking solitude oneness with nature and God. Well, he found what he was looking for, but word quickly spread all over the land about his godliness. 
So people flocked here, believing they could experience the same thing. All right. Woo! Instead of turning them away or running away himself, the good saint shared his personal bit of heaven. This is beautiful. Glendalough became one of the biggest monasteries in all of Ireland. Inspired by old Saint Kevin, my new friends... Is this it? You're not kidding. This is really a bar. Yeah. ...are sharing their personal heaven with me. Where we come to chill out at the end of a long day foraging. Oh, Howdy, look lads. at this. Hey! Rowdy Jack, this is Rowdy. Still, and Gary yeah. makes sure the, yeah, the whiskey gets out there and the gin gets out there. Oh, look at those shot glasses! It makes the taste of the gin so much better. Jack, this is what we've been working for all day. So you gotta try it. In a wooden corn cob pipe looking shot glass. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, boys. Salancha. Cheers. Salancha. Oh, wow. It's really fruity. That uh, frockenberry yeah. gives a nice, strong yeah, flavor, it. doesn't it? Glendalock makes about 3,000 bottles of its autumn gin every season, just enough to share a taste of the Garden of Ireland with the world. Oh, those frockenberries make it nice. I know why we had to pick so many now. The autumn gin. I'm glad we saved it for last. Here's to you. Cheers, Jack. Thank you. Ah, cilantro.